Clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. Team Black got a stand up, man. Yo. All right, y'all. I got this quick video, man, revolving around this situation with young boy. Y'all know I got something to say about it, so I should say something about it. And it's crazy, bro. We just did a video reacting to one of uh, young boy's songs, bro. I honestly seen it in his face, like that, uh, bro. It's real deal facing like depression. Um, I want y'all to know, bro. That's the same reason why I decided to follow Christ. And then I heard Youngboy say plenty of times in his videos or one of his vlog videos that someone Christian him and I believe that person is his auntie or something like that. He was Christian, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, just me thinking about a lot of stuff like that just led me to like say a prayer for him. Cause I feel like, you know what I'm saying? He know what he need to do. He's on the right path. He he, he accepted Jesus Christ, you know. But now, after you accept them, it's like actually looking towards the word. You feel what I'm saying? It's like looking into the word now. Now, now that you accept them and you know that this is the person you want to follow, now it's about proving yourself, uh, as I should say, to God, bro. Like proving yourself, proving that you're willing to learn every day, uh, proving that you you willing to, you know, take the proper steps to actually living like Christ, bro. Like. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, we understand, bro. But it's about, you know, showing that you're attempting to, to stop certain stuff, worldly things, to uh, be within his grace fully. You know, I feel like. You feel me? Now, I don't expect anybody to fully take my words when it comes to the Bible. I, ex I expect everybody to actually go back to the word. I can only speak from my figment of imagination, bro. And basically my testimony and stuff that I've been through, you know what I'm saying? But me personally, I was on the same verge. Matter of fact, I was actually on the opposite negative verge to the point where I didn't believe the Bible at all. I didn't believe anything revolving around it. Um, I never wanted to label myself a Christian. I just labeled myself a spiritual being, you know. I was going through a lot of phases, but me realizing those phases I was going through was ways... Of the spirit leading me to the one and only, bro. And I can finally say, bro, I, I, I've been led to righteousness, you know. And through a lot of trials and errors, through a lot of near-death situations, bro, I'm here now, bro, uh, a servant of God. You dig what I'm saying? And I feel it in me, bro, that young boy is probably one of the, the most, you know, uh, positive people when he wants to be, bro. Like, bro, is actually a good dude, good spirit, bro. And he looks out for so many people, bro. That, that just tells you a lot about him right there, man. But right now, man, we got this video of the feds actually trying to prosecute this man because they feel like he been on drugs. And uh, safe to say, you feel like he been on drugs, but to be honest, it looked like he definitely been on drugs. But the crazy part is, like, why y'all tripping? Because he at his high. Like, what else y'all expect? This man been at the house for how long, y'all? Four years, three years, two years? Like... He been at the house for years. Ain't been doing a damn thing. Just trapped. He even said in the last song, it feel like he was in, damn, what's that place called? Somebody put it in the comments. Basically, he feel like he's in a big ass prison at his house, bro. Surrounded by nothing but mountains and freezy ass weather. This nigga probably see 30 polar bears a month and he see a hundred tigers. You know what I'm saying? Just randomly run through his. How would you feel? You know what I'm saying? The man feel isolated from the whole world, brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. It's just the situation he's in is just like, it's just crazy. But all I can say is, bro, seek God, bro, and, and seek, uh, nigga, stop doing drugs, bro. Simple, nigga, just stop doing that shit, bro, and, and really lock in, bro. You feel me? And I can't say he wrong or nothing like that, bro, because you got to really be in his shoes to understand how he feels, bro. And trust me, none of y'all ass is in his shoes, bro. So, um... I respect the journey he's on, but I know he gonna get it right. That's just one thing I know about that man above, bro. Like, he will kick your ass, but 
I know he going to get it right. You feel me? Because he already on the right path. He just got to get it fully right. But let's read this report. What them people said about that man. Federal prosecutors are accusing NBA young boy, a.k.a. young boy, never broke again, of violating the terms of his house arrest by using unspecified drugs and telling his supervising officer that he has no intentions of stopping. Now, YB, I know you lying. I know you ain't real deal to hear these folks. You on drugs and you don't plan on stopping. Oh, yeah, he going through it for real. If he, if he real did told him that, he is going through it. In a filing Thursday, February 29th, prosecutors asked the Louisiana federal judge to set a hearing to deal with the rapper's non-compliant behavior while he awaits a July trial on federal gun charges. They say he violated a rule forbidding him to use or unlawfully possess a narcotic drug or other controlled substances while under house arrest. Well, technically, they don't know what drug he's using. Uh, they just probably looking at the same shit we're seeing and, and bruh just look booted and zooted and just I obviously assuming that he on drugs or whatever the case may be. Nigga, just stop. Nigga, turn your ass down. The undersigned has learned that defendant has violated the rule and has informed his supervising officer that he has no intention to discontinue using the substance that resulted in the violation. U.S. Attorney Ronald Seagar wrote in filing. The filing did not specify that drug young boy is accused of using because they don't know the drug. The rapper's attorneys did not return a request for comment. They will likely file a formal response to the allegation in the days ahead. Young boy was indicted by Louisiana federal prosecutors in March 2021 on charges of felony possession of a firearm after he was allegedly found with two guns during a September 2020 incident in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Possessing guns would be illegal for young boys since the rappers was previously convicted in 2017 of aggravated assault with a firearm. When he was arrested in Los Angeles on those charges, another gun was found in the car, leading a similar case that brought the California federal prosecutors. Young boy was acquitted on those charges following on July 2022 trial but he's still facing a looming trial in Louisiana over the original indictment. While awaiting trial, young boy has been continued to his Salt Lake City mansion, a house arrest that has now lasted more than two full years in October. His attorney pleaded that the long period of social isolation was harming his mental health. They asked that the judge loosen restrictions, including allowing him to travel to a recording studio to create new music, but the crest was largely denied in November. So it's like they they've been telling these people that him being isolated from the world is messing with his head. And they just like, we don't give a damn if it's messing with your head. Let it keep messing with your head, mess with your body, and hopefully it mess with your tongue because your tongue keep consuming hot Cheetos. And for some reason, them hot Cheetos is corrupting your mind. So we don't care that you feeling sad at the house. And young boy is probably saying, F it, I don't care. I'm going to do drugs till I can't do drugs no more. I'm going to keep smoking cigarettes till I can't smoke no more. I'm going to keep smoking a filter of the cigarettes. Matter of fact, I don't care about nothing. And then when my P.O. come through, I'm going to tell my P.O., yes, my nigga, I'm still going to pop these, whatever the hell I'm popping, and I don't care. And then young boy probably felt like he had an honest relationship with his community service. I'm going to tell y'all right now, bro. These people is not y'all friend for real. No matter how cool they act, no matter how nice they act, they is not your friend for real. If you're not following the rules, they got to tell these people that you're not following the rules, bro. So you trying to be extra cool or whatever the case may be, it's not going to work out in your favor. Your best bet is to just follow the rules, bro. Simple as that, bro. Plain and simple, bro. Just follow the rules. But I pray that young boy get it right, man. Send blessings to you, my brother. We'll catch y'all in the next video, man. I guess we'll see how this plays out when his attorneys respond to this situation.